Confucius once said, choose a job you love and you will never work a day in your life. If I use only that philosophy as my measuring stick and replace loving your job with enjoying it, motherhood has been a whole lot of work for me. <laughs> I didn't expect it would be that way. Being a mother is something I always expected to become. I didn't plan a career. I didn't think about what I would do if I didn't have children. I would be a mom and it would be everything. I got married just before my 19th birthday and we took over guardianship of my husband's nine-year-old niece three months later. A few weeks after our one-year wedding anniversary, we had our first child. She was a month early and jaundiced enough that we had to spend a little extra time at the hospital. When the nurse told me I was being released, I started sobbing. I'm sure the hormones and intensity and swollen breasts played into my come apart, but mostly I was looking reality in the face and I knew I was not ready. I'd been raising my niece for nine months, and so the blush was already off the rose of child rearing for me. How could I take care of an infant on top of everything else? Ready or not, however, I was officially a mom now. There was no turning back. And since I was in for a penny, I might as well throw in the whole pound. Two years after daughter number one, I had daughter number two. Not only was I still not ready, I wasn't sure I even liked being a mom. And I didn't feel like I was very good at it. Irritation was my instant reaction for every difficulty. And there were a lot of difficulties. All the things I thought would be so fun, Play-Doh, picnics, finger painting, <laughs> cute hair, and trips to the zoo were messy and exhausting and usually ended in tears. Mine or theirs, depending on the event. <laughs> so, I had more kids. Two more, in fact. All the while counting down the years until they would be grown up and moved out. It's not that I didn't love my children or that I wasn't happy with my life. But motherhood was so much work, and I didn't really like the work. And I couldn't understand why I had such a different expectation than reality had turned out to be. Was it them? Was it me? I wanted to like my job, and too often, I just didn't. The shift didn't happen for a long time. But a day came when I realized that my kids were becoming people and people I liked. I enjoyed conversations more than I ever liked going to the park. And I liked the inside jokes we shared better than I had ever liked the holidays. I loved celebrating their successes and seeing them change and develop and grow. I'd always thought the teenage years were when motherhood got really hard, which had me completely freaked out for a really long time. But it turned out to be just the opposite for me. I think a big part of my early struggles with my role was because I still had a lot of growing up to do when I took on the responsibility of these little people. I was right when I felt like I wasn't ready. I wasn't. How could I be? I'm not sure any parent can truly prepare for the intensity and responsibility of parenthood. But at 19 years old, I didn't have a clue how to enjoy something that was so overwhelmingly difficult and constant. Confucius also said, wherever you go, go with your heart. With that as my measuring stick, I thank God that despite my naive expectations and misguided beliefs, I went with my heart. I had been surrounded by examples of good mothers all of my life, and I wanted to be a mom, a good one. And so I stuck with it, even when the day-to-day -day enjoyment wasn't there. Thank goodness I got up every day and made those last-minute lunches. And went to those screechy band concerts. <laughs> and freezing cold soccer games in the rain. And thank goodness I wrestled us all in getting those family pictures taken. This sheer quantity of memories creates quality in and of itself, and my current joy in motherhood is priceless. I'm also grateful for the hope, way down deep in those early years, that one day it would all come together. It did. 
I grew up with the help of these little ones who aren't so little anymore. And I became a better me because of them. I can only hope that they are better for having me too. I haven't loved every minute of being a mother, but I can truly say that these kids, hearts of my heart and joys of my joy, are the greatest work I have ever done.